Hey there, happy code mist. Let's get into today's case. So today's case is some biopsies. We have some lesions here. And one of the things I like to do when I have multiple lesions like this is actually get out multiple colored highlighters so that I can designate if there's certain suturing that goes with certain um, lesions or if there's certain lesions of the same area and just kind of differentiate between where I'm going because it helps it helps just draw my attention a little bit better. So let's go through this case a little bit. We have here excisional biopsy of actinic keratosis and skin nevus, two layer and one layer plastic closures. So pre-op diagnosis and post-op diagnosis are the same for these as well. I know all the cases we've gone through so far have the pre-op and post-op the same. They're not always the same. It just so happens that the couple of cases that I've pulled have been the same. So we have three lesions it looks like we're looking at a left chest actinic keratosis two centimeters left medial chest actinic keratosis one centimeter left shoulder actinic keratosis one centimeter now oftentimes with lesions we want to wait and not build them out until we have that final pathology report because that can oftentimes impact not only your cpt code but your diagnoses and there are certain even diagnoses for types of lesions like malignant melanoma that have risk adjustment, they, there's an HCC score for them. So we want to make sure that we're really accurately assigning the right codes for them. And not only that, but it's just good protocol, even if it's, you know, going to be the same CPT, but maybe a different diagnosis code, we want to make sure that we're reporting out our diagnoses correctly. We don't want to just um, slap on a generic lesion code just to get it out the door. Medical coding's not just for reimbursement, it's also for data tracking. So we want that data to be accurate. So we have a couple of different procedures that we did here. So we're gonna probably need a few different CPT codes. We have an excisional biopsy of left chest two centimeter actinic keratoses, two layer plastic closure. Now this doesn't tell us where it is, so hopefully it does down here. Excisional biopsy of left chest medial actinic keratosis, one centimeter with one layer plastic closure. Excisional biopsy of left shoulder, I'm sure that's supposed to be shoulder, skin nevus, one centimeter, one layer plastic closure. We have our anesthesia, blood loss, no complications. So let's start with our procedure. All areas were prepped, draped, and localized in the usual manner. Afterwards, elliptical incisions were placed with a 15 blade scalpel and curved iris scissors and small bishop forceps were used for the dissection of all the skin lesions after all were removed so they did an ellipse so that really is telling me an, an excision sometimes you have to be careful because they're somewhere they really are doing a shave or an incision so the fact that they're making an ellipse and it says here that they are doing um, they're doing a removal here, they're doing dissection. That tells me more this is an excision and not just an incision where they're maybe incising in and popping out a cyst or something. After all were removed, they were closed with one layer technique, so one layer. So that means a simple closure. And depending on the type of procedure, that one layer closure is included in them. And that's, I think, for most lesion procedures, a one layer closure is included. Uh, so we have one layer technique for the shoulder and medial lesion, and the larger left lesion was closed with two layer closure using monocryl 50 for subcuticular closure and 50 nylon for skin closure. And that's good because this not only just tells us like, um, that it was two layers, but it gives us the information about which layers it did. It was the subcuticular and the skin. So let's get out our highlighters and highlight a few things here. So here we have medial lesion. We have medial lesion up here. Medial actinic keratosis. We have medial lesion as well up here. And then we have left chest, we have left chest, and we have left chest. I'm also going to highlight the two layer plastic closure in pink so that I know that that is related to this left chest actinic keratosis. So that's part of that. And then we have here the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. 
And then it says here she tolerated the procedure well, post-op care instructions were provided, she's going to follow up for suture removal, of note she had an episode of hemoptosis, which could not be explained, prompting an emergency room visit. We're not going to code for that because we're coding for the search and service. And I discussed if this continues, we may want to perform a fiber optic laryngoscopy examination and possible further workup if a diagnosis can't be made. So we're going to have probably four CPT codes here, maybe two if they're the same location. But we have here the left chest biopsy, the medial chest, the shoulder, and then the two layer closure. Now, if I got this particular case, I might send it back to the provider for a query. Reason being, there's a difference between doing a true biopsy where we're trying to assess what is this lesion versus when we're doing an excision of the entire lesion. And if we already know that these are actinic keratoses, chances are good that what this provider is doing is not a biopsy so much as doing an excision of the lesion and sending it to pathology. Uh, versus actually doing a biopsy. When we look at our biopsy codes, and you can see these illustrations that they have here, we have tangential, which are when they're kind of shaving it off or just taking that sample off the top layer, punch, which is when they use a, a tool, kind of almost like a hole punch, but for your skin. And then incisional is when they're doing this kind of like a lips, but they're not taking the whole thing off. They're just taking a sample of it. There's still some lesion over here. So let's say for argument's sake, I send this back to the provider and I say, hey, did you do an excision of the full lesion or did you just do an incisional biopsy of these? And he goes, oh, my mistake. I did the incisional biopsy and he does incision, no, that says incisional um, biopsy and he does his little addenda and everything looks okay. So I go back after he's done his addenda and it's clarified, oh yeah, these were all incisional biopsies, not just a full lesion excision. Then we'll, we'll, we'll for argument's sake, code these to the uh, incisional biopsy codes because he is saying biopsy. At, at these sizes, it I'm kind of thinking he excised the whole thing because two centimeters to take for a sample of a lesion on the chest, you know, not entirely out of the question, but for the purposes of this example, we're going to say he did an addenda and said, oh yeah, these were incisional biopsies. So the incisional biopsies actually don't go by sizes. They just go by essentially quantity. So when you look at these, it says it includes the simple closure. So a simple closure is a one layer closure. So how many of the incisional biopsies did we do here with um, the simple closure? We did two simples, it looks like, and then one with the two layer closure. So we're gonna code all three lesions. So we have the 11106 for the chest and then 11107 times two for the other one that we have the left chest and then the medial left chest. And then we have the left shoulder as well. So that would be three lesions, one, two, three. So now this one layer closure is included. This one layer closure is included. Um, but this two layer closure is not included. Unfortunately, he didn't really give us a size of the two layer closure. We can, in many circumstances, code this to the smallest size possible. So if he had said he had, you know, done a, a three centimeter closure, he probably would have gotten a better reimbursement than just not documenting at all. So this two layer closure here that we have in pink was for this left chest. And we can assume though, that just because the lesion itself was two centimeters, that that means that the closure was two centimeters. Those are two totally separate things. The fact that this was a two centimeter lesion does not constitute a two centimeter closure because those two sizes can be very different. I mean, hypothetically, he could have just not sutured it. He could have sutured part of it. Oftentimes what happens though is it's actually longer. So oftentimes once they draw that ellipse together, it can be uh, the, the closure is usually a little bit longer than the size of the lesion. So here we have repair intermediate, which means two layers, which is what we have wounds of the scalp, axilla, trunk, and then that chest is considered part of the trunk. And this is 2.5 centimeters or less. So 12031. Now this is an add-on code, so we don't need any modifiers on this. And these are not bundled together, the closure and the lesions. 
So next we just need the code for the actinic keratoses. Now this is one that does have its own designation in the alphabetic index, so you don't code this to the neoplasm table because it does have its own entry, which is L57.0. Now even though we have this diagnosis that's the same thing for three different lesions, we only code it once because the blocks on the claim form A, B, C, D, etc., all the way down to L, we don't repeat the same code. So even though they have separate um, lesions with the same diagnosis code, we only report the same diagnosis code once. Now as a bonus, I'm going to show you what this would have looked like if the provider had said they actually did an excision of the lesions and not just a biopsy. So you can kind of see what the difference of the coding would be. So say they, the provider came back and went, oh, you know what, I thought because I sent it out to pathology that automatically made it a biopsy. Uh, and it really what I did was just a full excision of the lesion. So in that case where they're actually doing this full ellipse excision, it breaks down by location as well as size. So we have left chest, the medial chest, I'll use the M for medial, and then we also have, what was our third one, shoulder. So the left chest would be 11402 because that was two centimeters, and this is for a diameter 1.1 to two centimeters. The chest and shoulder would each be 11401, which is for the one centimeter lesion. We would still use our same closure code, 12031. But the difference here is because we have this code twice, some carriers might accept the 11402 times two, others might want you to break it down into a separate line and put a 59 modifier on it. Medicare might want that XS modifier to designate that it was a separate structure, but they will all still have the same diagnosis code, which we only use once, that L57.0, unless for some reason pathology would reveal that they weren't really actinic keratoses, that they were, you know, saboric keratoses or something instead. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get alerts when I post new episodes. I will see you in the next episode, and until then, just keep on coding on.